Kerry with Canary Quilts and this is the, what is this, the ninth block in our 2023, not ours, Fat Quarter Shops, 2023 Mystery Designer Block of the Month. I think it's Designer Mystery Block of the Month. It's a mouthful, but it's, um, this is through Fat Quarter Shop. You could sign up last year. Um, they do it every year, so they've got another one coming up that's going to be starting, I think, in May or June. I will have a link that, to that down below. But at the end of this, you can also buy this pattern and do this yourself. So we are getting these every month. I'm calling them my comfort blocks because the fabrics are so comforting to look at and the blocks aren't too hard. They aren't too easy. So this is block nine. This is done by Brigitte Heitland from brigitteheitland.de. I will have her information in the link down below and um, you can check her out. That's the designer and the block's called Azalea. So I have actually finished out my block all the way around. So this is the block inside here that we're gonna go through today. It won't take very long. Um, I finished it out because I am starting to put my quilt together. I've got the first two rows and then I've got seven and eight put together, which is in the third row. And then I can add my ninth one to that and have three rows of this quilt ready to go. So, and after that, there's just border. So it's not going to be too hard this year um, to put together. It's really been fun and I've really been enjoying it. So if you want to dive into a block of the month, check out what's coming up. It's going to be kind of pink and red colors next year and a house theme block. So it's going to be really different and I'm really looking forward to it. But anyway, hit the subscribe button notification bell if you want to watch this quilt come together. You want to watch all the other fun stuff we got going on here. And um, yeah, let's get started on this block. All right, let's start block nine of the 2023 Designer Mystery Block of the Month. This was designed by Brigitte Heitland. And I will have her um, website down in the description below this video for you. This one's called Azalea. I love azaleas. In fact, at this point in time, they are starting to bloom right now in Florida. So it's getting pretty. But these are our fabrics we're gonna be using. This is always the center block in these, all these blocks. And then we've got our dark blue, this beautiful floral, the green that's in the corners, and then the white that's in the corners. And then we have the white that's in our hourglass. So that's how much fabric's left after one block. I've got my cuts here. I've got these big cuts that are going to be cut on both diagonals to make our hourglass blocks. This is our center and then these are the pieces we're going to need for our corner blocks. So one thing I want to do is see if I can make it so that my corner blocks are going, this pattern's all going in the same direction. So probably up and down. So let me figure that out and then I'll show you what I'm going to do to achieve that. All right, for my corners here, since I want all mine in the same direction, I put the short end on the bottom, I guess, if you want to call it that, of this piece, and then I laid these out to which corner they're going to go so I know which side to um, sew these onto. So that's how I'm doing it. That way, when I lay these out in my corners, all my, and that's just me, all these will be going in the same direction. So... I'm gonna get these ironed and or sewn and then ironed out and we'll go on to the hourglasses. All right, my corners are finished. We're gonna put the hourglasses together, which are the centers here. And this is how they're gonna to go together and we'll just put them together in rows and we're always gonna to iron towards the floral so that when we put them together, to put the rows together, we will have a nested seam. This is gonna be a really pretty block. All right, got my hourglasses done and um, we ironed, I ironed um, towards the blue row basically and then I had to trim them down to size I've got my corners laid out how I want them and they turned out the way I want them so now it's just a nine patch that we're putting together and we're gonna iron towards the corners and then the center and then we're gonna iron towards the outside rows so my block will be done very quick block to put together really super pretty there we go block number nine my comfort blocks is what I call them that is gorgeous, and it was really fun to put together. Um, not too hard at all. I just really look forward to making these blocks. So I'm gonna get this finished out, get it ready to go in the final quilt. There we go, I've gotten the block number nine done. It's over here, and 
these are not in order. My blocks are not in order. Um, and it doesn't matter to me. It's beautiful the way it is. It, um, it goes together really quick and it's really fun. So this is block number nine. This is Azalea by Brigitte Heitland. Um, check out their 2024 designer mystery block of the month and um, see if it's something you want to do. I do recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. This is a fat quarter shop and um, you get such a beautiful quilt. I did last year's and I gave it to my mother-in-law. It is just perfect for her bedroom. So hit the subscribe button notification bell if you want to watch this quilt come together, if you're doing it with me or you're just doing it and watching me. <laughs> um, and we got a lot of other fun stuff going on the channel. So I will uh, see you in the next video. Bye.